Two Minute Tutor here. What are we looking at today? What are the different types of burners? In a previous video, we looked at how does a burner work, but today we're going to look at what are the different types of burners out there. As you've probably figured out, there are many different types of furnaces, efficiencies, configurations, and there's different burners that fit all of them. But we've been able to condense down into four the four most prevalent burners that are found in the furnaces, forced air furnaces that are used out in the HVAC industry. Each of these four burners will all do the exact same thing, and that is to bring the triangle of combustion together so that it generates heat inside of the furnace so that we can distribute heat throughout the home so that you can be warm during the winter time. Let's look at these four different burners. We have the ribbon burner, the stamped steel burner, the upshot burner and the inshot burner. Each of these burners are going to be used with a different heat exchanger configuration or different efficiency. Of these burners, the ribbon burner is probably the oldest of the four that are mentioned up here. This burner has all the accoutrements that are found on every burner. It has the wide mouth entrance to it where the primary air is going to enter and the gas through the orifice. We have the narrowing which is the uh, venturi. The venturi throat uh, allows for the fuel and the air, the primary air that is, to go down into the mixing chamber and then from the mixing chamber to be spread evenly at the base of the um, burner. The burner has a ribboning effect on its spreader and that's how it gets the name ribbon burner. The second burner is the stamped steel burner or sometimes it's called a slotted burner. This particular burner is found prevalently on carrier and Bryant equipment. Has all the same things that the burner that I showed you previously has. It has the wide mouth entrance for the primary air and the fuel. It has a narrowing for the venturi effect so we can draw that primary air in with the velocity of the gas. We have a mixing chamber and then on top of course a spreader. The spreader once again to evenly spread the gas throughout the entire length of the heat exchanger. Third we have the upshot burner. This particular burner is going to be used in fairly short heat exchangers. It gets its name upshot because of the single ported burner with no spreader on it allows for the flame to come out and then move up immediately. So if we have a very short um, uh, uh, heat exchanger then we will not be hitting the back of that particular heat exchanger has all the accoutrements of the other ones. It has a narrowing here. We have the wide mouth on it and we have the mixing chamber below it. Last of all, and this is the most prevalent of all the burners, is the in-shot burner. This burner is being used exclusively with inducer motors. Now the other three can be used with inducer motors also, but as our technology has gotten better, and efficiencies have gotten higher, the in-shot burner has allowed itself to become the most prevalent burner that are being used in our furnaces today. Once again, a wide mouth for the uh, primary air to enter. We have the narrowing so that we can have our venturi effect. We have our mixing chamber. Although it's small, it's still the mixing chamber. And then on the very end, we have a flame spreader. All of these burners have a crossover on them That's allow, that is to allow for the burner to be spread to the adjacent burner and they um, all allow for the uh, combustion triangle. Each of these burners can be used, all four of these burners can be used on um, 80s and 90% efficient furnaces. 80 and 90 percenters on all of these. 80% 90%. But I need to draw your attention to the end shot. The end shot cannot be used on a 70%. So all of these can be used on 80 and 90% efficient furnaces, but they can, uh, the end shot cannot be used on a 70. So what does that mean? I'm trying not to get you all screwed up here, but the three here can be used on 70s, the 4 can be used on 80s and 90s. Alright, see you later. Class dismissed.